Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another tech review. This one in particular is about the Lilliput 4K Camera Assist A5 5 inch monitor uh, for the Blackmagic or I guess any camera that allows an HDMI output monitor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing, uh, show you what's inside the box and then I did want to show you guys a little, a, a couple few things about this monitor and why I decided to purchase it for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. All right, let's get to it. As always guys, I just wanted to take a quick second and say thank you so much for commenting, liking the videos, and just continually being positive people on the uh, YouTube channel. I know my stuff isn't 100% professional and I'm still learning and growing as I make more videos. So thank you again all for just the support, the positive reinforcement, and even the positive criticism. I appreciate it. And uh, if you want to, if you like, definitely consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And uh, let's get into the video. guys so now that we have this thing unboxed I've already went ahead and mounted it with the battery to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K small rig cage uh, I'm gonna try my best to say pocket 4K more often uh, but this is basically how I mounted it I have I pretty much mounted a cold shoe mount on the right side of the camera where the small rig is the small rig uh, T5 Samsung SSD is on the left this way I have an external hard drive uh, data source as well as the field monitor mounted on here uh, for one, I'm just really using this as a running gun camera. Now, when I'm using the Ronin S gimbal right here, I will not be mounting this on the actual cage itself. I'll be mounting it onto the handle, and I'll do another video describing that handle in particular. But this is how I have it mounted here. And uh, some of the main things I did want to show to you guys about this monitor and why I prefer it so much and why I love it is because it has so many cool features built into it that allows me to use a monitor uh, when I'm getting angles, <laughs> to use monitors when I'm getting angles where I can't see uh, like higher shots when I'm holding the gimbal or camera higher or when I'm doing low shots or when I'm holding and I can't see the monitor at those low angles. This allows me to go up and down, left and right and uh, pretty much have an articulating screen without, <laughs> like I do with all my Canon cameras and uh, it just gives me the uh, ability to do so again. Uh, the biggest reason also for that is in particular because I do a lot of videos like this right here while I'm looking at the camera and uh, without being able to have that on me I can't really focus myself or figure out the focus and angle as well as I could with the actual screen like I do on the side of the Canon EOS M50. So without further ado let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when I plug it in. You've seen the previous video of when I plugged it in but I did want to show you a couple cool things that this does have and uh, why it's such a great monitor. The cool thing about it is it takes LPE6 as well as uh, Sony F970 batteries or any Sony battery, F570, any model that works for the Sony cameras, that's what I would go for. The reason why I have this LED, uh, this actual battery available is because I use this on my Vilchox 116T as well. 
And uh, these are just a really cheap battery that you can purchase on eBay and Amazon and you can pretty much put it on anything or everything you need. Um, even external battery power source for your Blackmetric Pocket Cinema 4K. But that's another video. Okay, so we have this guy plugged in. Uh, HDMI cable to the monitor, HDMI cable to the camera. Um, this is a huge cable. I'm still waiting for Amazon to send my one footer to six inch cable. So I'm still waiting on that. Don't worry about that right now. But I do want to show you guys what this looks like. All right, let's power this guy on. HDMI in. Keep always focus. The HDMI out, HDMI in. Sorry. Okay, as you can see here, you have all these cool little functions in here the histograms, the sound bar. Um, and if you haven't noticed yet, it has right here uh, that's the zebras, which will pretty much show you whenever light is overexposed. And then if we focus in to this little gimbal leg right here. Ugh. I'm gonna underexpose that a little bit. If you see that little portion right here, there's a little bit of orange hue to it. And that's because that is the focus assist uh, or focus peaking. And that'll pretty much show you whenever your object is in focus, whenever it's in focus or it's at the best focusing point, it'll start to glow, kind of like in The Last Dragon. <laughs> but uh, it's just something that's really cool for me to have available. And uh, I can tell you from events that I've recently done, like the 5K Charity by Purple Stride, uh, this thing has helped me a lot for going higher shots and lower shots. Uh, higher from when I'm doing like large crowd shoots and lower shots from when I'm doing low ground running shots. So it's definitely recommended that you pick up a monitor for your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K uh, or any camera that doesn't have a flip out screen available. It works really well on rigs such as this. Um, this thing goes for about 150 bucks, and like I said, it's probably one of the cheapest lenses. It's probably one of the cheapest monitors you can find on Amazon. And uh, just from using it and the ease of use and the things that it has available, I would highly recommend it. It's not gonna be the best monitor on the market, but for 150 bucks, you can have an external monitor for your video cinema camera. Yep, well that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comments below. That's it for today guys. Peace.